<laughs> What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Crafted where we take you behind the scenes of all the world's most excellently crafted people, places, and things. And today, I got something extra special for you guys, a crafted food review. That's right, I'm gonna take y'all behind the scenes at a restaurant that, you know, we found online, had some good reviews, so we decided to check it out. Now, I feel like food is a big important part of life. When you really look at it, you spend a lot of time deciding what you're gonna eat and eating food. So, you know, if you're gonna craft your life in the right way, you might as well find the right place to eat and make sure you take time when you're selecting it. Also, you know, I'm a businessman. Anytime I do business with anybody, we're always gonna make sure that we break bread together because we're gonna break bread together. And family's a big part of life too. So family dinners are always important. And tonight, we're gonna do a family dinner. And to get it started, we thought it might be nice to do a place that expresses craftsmanship, but isn't a five-star restaurant that's exorbitantly priced. So we're gonna get it rolling with some hot pot. And uh, I guess I gotta tell you guys exactly what hot pot is, cause I hit my cousin to go with us and she was like, what's hot pot? And I said, it's, it's a pot that's, that's hot and you know, you cook in front of it. But I mean, in order to answer it like a little bit more, I guess descriptively, let's go into it a little bit. Hot pot is a flavorful broth traditionally served inside a large metal pot. Broth is brought to a boil and left simmering for the duration of the meal. Raw ingredients such as meat and vegetables are placed into the simmering broth and thus cooked. The cooked pieces are then dipped in the sauces for additional flavor. So like I said, man, we're gonna hit hot pot. So y'all come rock with us and take a look inside this hot pot meal. Okay guys, so welcome in. We're gonna roll tonight to Yading Hot Pot. I don't know if that's how you say it, but if that's not how you say it, then you dang hit me because you should definitely say it like that. I got some crazy commercial ideas for you. I mean, you ding, like that's how you should say it. So roll in your ding hot pot, take a look around, man. I love the ambiance and the vibe of this restaurant. I mean, for the price point that it's at, it's absolutely amazing what they did with the details. You check in one corner, it's an awesome money tree. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on money trees, but that's a cool little piece in itself. And then, you know, you take a look in the roofs and they got the recessed blue lighting. It's a nice touch, chef's kiss, guys, that, that's awesome. Like what you did there. Then behind that, you got the LED wall. It's like a 30 foot LED wall. And man, I love when people are able to do more with less, right? So it's an amazing way to use the space and also be able to create a great ambiance. I mean, I guess they took that from the Miami restaurants, like the tropical vibe, like, you have to love how that rolls. Shout out to the family in there with me. I love my guys. We all came in and, oh, it's a high tech restaurant as well. There's a robot that moves around the restaurant in order to deliver the food. And I'll show you a little bit more about that later. So let's get rolling. When we got to the table, I love the setup. It's it's absolutely dope. The colors, the, the color scheme that they have in there, it, it flows together really nicely. As you see, we have the hot pots that, that sit in front of us. So each person that comes and sits down, you get your own individual hot pot or, you know, everybody can cook in one depending on how you want to rock out with the family. Another piece of the craftsmanship of the restaurant that I absolutely love was the chopsticks. I've never seen chopsticks this dope in a restaurant before. First of all, the weight on them was absolutely amazing. And then that black with the gold accents on the bottom. I mean, if you're gonna use chopsticks, those are the chopsticks that you use. I might have to get some personally for the crib next time we have something at the house. My other favorite part of this restaurant, and I mean, look guys, I'm a sauce guy, okay? Like, if the sauce is good, it, it's gonna be a rocking meal. And they have their own setup, it's a, it's a sauce bar. So you actually get to come in there and make your own sauce. However you wanna craft it, put it together, you, you get to make your own flavor for the meal. And I think that's that's really an excellent part of craftsmanship where you get to go in there and, and have your own distinct input on the meal and how you put it together. So if you go through the sauce bar, I, I'll be honest with you, there's so many different options on here. I got a shot of the menu and the, the suggestions that they have, but I suggest you go in there and just go crazy. They don't have any limit on the amount of sauces that you can get, so try out a couple of different things, put it all together, see what comes out good. As you can see, wifey was there, she was explaining the, the sauce that she put together, mixed it up, and had to try it out. I think wifey had the best sauce. I did good too though, I did good. Mine was real soy sauce base, had a little sugar in there with the salt, like little cayenne pepper. I think I threw a little, little garlic in there as well. So yeah, man, we mixed it up nice. We had several different options and 
you know what, next time we go, I'm actually gonna put a list together of the sauces that we did so you guys can kind of get the, the actual vibe of the, of the restaurant and the flavors. So boom, see the hot pot in front of us? That's how you throw it in there. They have the, the stove top set up. It's not the open flame, which some of the open flame hot pots will have more flavor, but for safety reasons and we have my daughter, little mama with us, it's, it's better to go with the, the stove top set up. So that's definitely a good part of this restaurant. Had to get the meal started with water. Make sure you hydrate yourself, get your H2O in, stay hydrated out here, man. But after that and directly after that, we had to get a bottle of sake to the table. Went with the white peach sake. I suggest go with cold sake, guys. Now, hot sake is cool if it's a, you know, the winter time or you're in that type of environment. But for the most part, especially spring, summertime, cold sake is the way to go. That's exactly how I suggest you rock out. As you can see, had to pour the sake, toast, healthy and wealthy guys. You know, if you got a drinking game that goes along with the show, man, there's a time when you when you rock out. We definitely gonna always have a nice nice beverage to pair with the meal because that's that's important. Okay, so appetizers. Got to stop you right there. You don't order anything else at this restaurant. Get the buns, okay? It, the buns, like I, I don't know how to describe it. You really have to try these buns. Like I, I can't. I can't really put it into words exactly how good these are. It's a it's a mix of crispy and yet soft. And then you have the, the sauce that's on the side that's, I don't know, I guess it's like a honey butter of some sort. I mean, listen, Golden Corral, take notes. Like if Golden Corral did this, the buffet would go crazy. I'm telling you, they would just go strictly for the bun. So nothing else for the appetizer. Take my word for it. You got to get the bun. Also on the side, egg fried rice. That's always a good staple. You know, so it's a great side dish to have when you when you hit the hot pot. So now, let me go through the menu with you guys. It's fairly extensive, but also pretty straightforward. Now, they have a digital menu that you can use on your phone, which I felt was a great way to order. But for the sake of the vlog purposes, I got a paper menu as well, so you guys can check out exactly the options that they have. Now, they fall in, you know, the regular categories. You have your, your meat, you know, your beef, you have your, your your seafood, then you have your vegetables, and then you have your, you know, assorted side dishes as well. Um, we went for a little bit of something from every part of the menu. You know, I like to try things out. I think it's important, especially as a craftsman, especially going to try a new restaurant out that you, you know, try to try out as much as possible. Take suggestions from the wait staff, see what's the most ordered thing and for this restaurant from my understanding it's the pork belly so definitely had to get the pork belly and we added on some clams some spicy beef uh what else did we do hey what's the name of the other uh oh okay so then the special dish that we got was the abalone like hmm how do i explain abalone if you took all of the mollusk in the sea and they had a baby, I guess that that would be what an abalone is like. Um, it is an expressive dish and definitely one that, I mean, it, it's good. I can't say it's not good, but there's nothing else that, that really tastes like it. The other part of that dish that I thought was amazing is, is the shell that it comes in. Now, don't eat the shell, but when you pull the abalone out of the shell, it has a metallic type of rainbow shell that it comes in that, I mean, I could only relate to it being some kind of alien-like type creature. I mean, I've never seen a shell that, that looks like this on the inside. So, you know, great experience to try that out, get a chance to eat something that I've never experienced before. In addition to eating something new, we tried the baby octopus out. Um, I will say it is not calamari. If you're expecting calamari, uh, that is not what it is. Um, but it's good. It, it's not terrible. It has a, a good flavor to it. At the same time, it's chewy. Uh, so the texture of it takes a little bit getting used to. But for the sake of trying something new, trying something out, Take a shot at it, guys. Why not try something new? Live life a little bit. 
you know. Oh, shots up. This is shot two or three going up right now. But shout out to wifey, shout out to family. My cousin Monet was in there. My cousin Steph was in there. We, we had a great time all trying to get through that bottle of sake because, you know, I paid for it. So, hey, we're going we're gonna to finish this bottle up. But anyway, we got the meal rolling, guys. And as you can see, we're putting everything on the plates. It's a, it's a family affair. Everybody's getting a little bit of everything. I love to eat in the... What would that be? The potluck fashion or, or the lazy Susan fashion where you know everybody tries a little everything. And by the way, guys, if you're gonna go to potluck, it's a good idea to probably bring somebody with you that knows how to cook. Me myself, I'm not a chef, not a cook. A lot of things in this world that I'm good at. Cooking is not one of them. And as far as I'm concerned, I have no no reason for it ever to be one of them. Shout out to wifey. She was there holding it down as usual, making sure everything got cooked nicely. Guys, if you if you got a date, it might not be a bad idea to take it to Korean barbecue or the or the hot pot. You know, you, you at least can see if she has any type of you know skill in the kitchen whatsoever. I mean, if she can do that, she has potential. I promise you. So, you know, second, third date kind of idea, not a bad way to roll it. But like I was saying, man, overall. Hmm. I guess I guess we have to give the restaurant a rate, right? And I'm I'm gonna come up with with a rating scale and a way to to rate these restaurants overall. And but right now, why don't we do it out of ten stars, right? So out of ten stars, I would say we're looking at ambiance, we're looking at quality of food, and uh, what else would we say? Price is probably the third thing that we'll put on there. I'm gonna give it a seven point five out of ten. Good job, you did. I would suggest it. I would definitely go back there. Not my top top of restaurants, but at the same time, a good value and a really good bang for your buck. Oh, and not to mention, I didn't get to take video of this. Maybe I will next time. They got a personal karaoke room. So next time we'll go, we'll do the personal karaoke room. That, that might take your ding over the top. So like I said, 7.5 out of 10. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. It's your boy Taz Crafted. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out the new website. It's crafted.store, C-R-F-T-D.store. Anything that we got in there, man, is amazing crafted, just like this video was. So I appreciate you rocking with me. Y'all stay crafty. Let's go.